What's that? This symbol. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Means that there's water in the sealed pipe, which isn't good. It's potential there's water in it. We're gonna disable that alarm for now. So it's behind here. All right, this is the alarm. So I just unplugged it. You'll see when it. Yeah, super noisy. Just gonna leave it like that for now. So what we're seeing is the sail drive seal warning lamp. When the first thing you read is about how there may be seawater entering the vessel and a warning, it's a little concerning. Yanmar suggests if this happens, stop the engine and under sail quickly return to the nearest port for repairs. Great. Plenty of space. It's the other side, but there's no room because the generator is on the other side. Okay, so this is the engine that we have the water and the sail drive alarm. And it actually means that there's water between the seals where the sail drive is mounted. So it's different than if there's water in the oil itself. There's a sensor down here. That guy. I'm gonna take that out and test it. <clears throat> so I just cracked it loose with my Leatherman. Oh, is that okay? So this is the little sensor. Pretty straightforward little sensor. You sometimes see these in fuel filters. If basically. If it's if water's touching the two ends, it creates a connection, get continuity, and it goes off. So pretty pretty simple. We'll see. We're just gonna put in a cup of water. Marianne's gonna turn on the engine, and we'll see if the alarm goes off. If it does the same thing where it's kind of flickering, then we know this is faulty. And if it just goes off as it should, then we're gonna kind of inspect further and see if there's water in there. Why would we have earmuffs in here? Showed. It was a steady beep, right? Yes. <laughs> so the sensor's working. So now we're gonna figure out if there's potentially water in there and how it's getting in there. So I'm looking in this little hole and you can't see in there, but it's dry. Hanging out in there isn't the most comfortable, but check this out. Full moon tonight. Let's see. It took a minute to come on earlier. It didn't come on right away. Well, I hadn't put it in the cup right away, I think. But that's a good sign thus far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm lights this would be the light the waves with the arrow up that would come on maybe i'll shift the gears around a bit this watch is making the oh, lights yeah. super long yeah. oh there it is okay so i swapped the sensor out which comes with this wire and this plug and on the other side and while I was doing that I started to trace back this wire to see if there was any chafing anywhere everything looked good and it goes into the main engine loom here and I see this little spot here and that wire is actually rubbing on this metal piece which is grounded and grounding itself out well, it's this yellow and green wire right there, so so it's it's very likely that. So I think as this was rubbing on here, it was getting the alarm to go on. Makes sense. So I'm just gonna 
tape that up really well. It's barely into the insulation. If it was any worse, I'd take all the tape off, put some heat shrink and really do it up good. But I think just taping that up will be good for now. And then I'll put a piece of hose here over all this to stop it and then tie it to that to stop it from chafing anymore. So yeah, this is like a good reason. I mean, we do daily engine checks here and um, general look around, you know, hoses chafing, clamp secure, electrical wires chafing, blah, blah, blah. It's like, but you just get kind of complacent when you're here every day looking and you don't always want to get into this uncomfortable position I'm currently in, but now I'm going to have a good look over to make sure everything looks good. All right. Tape protection wires are in there. It's all taped up well. Got the sensor plugged in here. Everything's held off from chafing. So hopefully that'll do. Beautiful. Beautiful. No light. Awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope that video was helpful. If you want to see more videos about troubleshooting, maintenance, or repairs, subscribe and drop us a comment. For now, we'll see you next time for another adventure, learning experience, dive into one of our hobbies, or whatever life throws at us. Cheers!